very wet September day, the YMCA launched Parkview, a 39 one-bed unit housing scheme in Romford, East London. It provides much-needed affordable homes for the Thames Gateway area. The modular building was designed by Rogers Sturk Harbour and Ivan Harbour addressed guests at the opening ceremony before leading a tour around the project. You know, for me, Parkview is one of the most important buildings that we've been involved in um, for about all our works to date. It's actually our second um, project, the YMCA. Um, the first, a Y cube in Mitcham, about five or six years ago. Um, and that was the moment where we had introduced um, this idea of modular construction, actually to make the thing happen. It, it, it worked financially um, and it worked in qualitatively too. And actually it drew a lot of attention from government at the time. I think the GLA's housing design um, um, standards were adjusted um, to take into account that actually what that, that um, scheme produced. It did set, set a really high benchmark, I think. And, but of course, we've learned a, a lot from that um, and it's important to evolve and, and the evolution of that design is what you'll see, what you'll see here and is apparent here today. Now these are slightly more spacious, but they're still compact, um, but beautifully well proportioned and, and really importantly, generous, generous and generous, particularly with their daylight. And, you know, and if they help change our approach to housing for young single people, then I think they're grand homes indeed. Everyone has their own front door, a generous stoop and a communal garden around which they're organised you know, we certainly hope will encourage the, the, these new neighbours um, to come together as a community. The community is, is so important. It's, uh, at the same time, they have extraordinary acoustics and each module is complete in itself. And so essentially it's, it's, um, um, it's sort of separated by um, space between its neighbours, both above and below and to either side. It allows them to have privacy too. It's in, as has been said, it's important to be able to get away and have your own, own space. Um, the modular approach um, really is about building economically at very high quality with minimal waste, really trying to um, look to a future where we have to be sustainable about our construction and we have um, to deliver on a, in eventually a carbon positive um, manner. The economy of these buildings is not about um, saving in product, I've already said, you know, you get your own ceiling and your own walls, they're separate from the neighbours. It's actually that the economies that we find that make this comparable to conventional construction are possible actually through process. It's all the overheads and stuff which is normally associated with construction, conventional construction, the things that the neighbours complain about, the noise, the, 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 the dust, just the, the unneighbourliness of conventional construction is avoided to a large extent with this, um, this sort of process. And of course, they're exceptionally well insulated. And in that, you know, we know is this is about, um, you know, it's, again, sustainability, low fuel bills. They, that allows the occupants to more choice on to how, how to spend the money that they, they have, that hard earned money. Of course, 10 years, um, five years maybe more specifically with this particular project, it's all about collaboration. You know, I'm um, representing the architectural practice, we're just one small, one small cog. And, and <coughs> that collaboration is from the first prototype to what you see here complete. And it's been a journey, as much with the residents, as with the engineers, the fabricators, and of course the YMCA. And I think, you know, I think this really is an, up, an uplifting alternative that will certainly goes towards helping us address our housing crisis in a smaller way. And when I'm here, it certainly makes me smile. That's really important. And I do hope it makes you all smile too. They really impress me. And I've, I've seen quite a few buildings in my career. <laughs> I would say pretty well all the commercial buildings we're involved in have been built this way for a number of years. So it's not, this isn't unusual to, to, to get quality um, in, in, in that way. I think there is, you know, despite the huge resistance, I think that they, the, what I'm hoping will drive it is the realization of its um, impact on the environment and the potential, the positive impact that this can, 
this can have um, compared to the sort of wasteful forms of construction. Now, when we were first introduced in the, I say in the, in the 21st century, you know, the practices have evolved in this sort of idea for 50 years, but um, we worked with a mass house builder, and one of the most extraordinary facts was that for every um, three houses they built, they throw one in the skip. And you think, wow, that's not, you don't hear this. This is extraordinary. There must be a way to improve just to make houses, I guess, a third less expensive by not throwing them in a skip. Um, so I think that the, the resistance that exists is, is to moving in towards this direction. And I think government have done a lot to um, improve that, by, to reduce that resistance by, by really supporting the, the notion. Um, I think that resistance is, is not necessarily about the methodology and the, and the, and the, the tools we have, it's about the, the process, and the process that delivers housing to our population. And to be fair, it's a process that hasn't done us very well so far. So I'm not sure necessarily I support that process. So in the end, maybe modular should be, should be 100%. <laughs> when modular is adopted more generally in the, in the construction industry, you should not be able to tell the difference between a modular home or a home a, 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 a tr so-called traditionally built um, home. They sh others should be able to interpret them um, in build buildings that people want to live in um, and just build them better, more economically and less wasteful. We put maybe a, it wasn't a huge amount on the on the length, but it's made a huge difference. The scale. I mean, and the, and um, certainly the it's improved bathroom dramatically. It's amazing how much light you know, again being able to have a big window because it's so well insulated. You mentioned the word stoop. Was that a reference to the Smithsons? The stoop, yeah. <laughs> the ability to the ability to sit here. I think we we always felt that we had, you know we designed in this this little outdoor seat thing that could be a storage, so you could sit by your sit by your window or by your door and chat with your with your neighbours. done here is 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 learning from the issues obviously at Grenfell.